Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Devotions. I'm Pastor Tim Mason, the Associate Pastor here at Incarnation Lutheran Church, and I'm so glad to have this time with you tonight. Um, tonight's uh, devotional was inspired by Pastor Gene McGordon, and the texts that I'll be reading, I'm going to read all the texts, are, they should be familiar because we had them at one of our recent worship services. And I'll be reading um, from Mark chapter 6, verse 30 to 34, and then there's this kind of a block that's gone. Then from 53 to 56, and that part that's kind of omitted, we're going to talk a little bit about that. So I begin uh, Mark 6, verse 30. The apostles gathered around Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away to a deserted place all by yourselves and rest a while. For many were coming and going, and they had no leisure even to eat. And they went away in the boat to a deserted place by themselves. Now many saw them going and recognized them, and they hurried there on foot from all the towns and arrived ahead of them. As he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion for them because they were like sheep without a shepherd, and he began to teach them many things. When they had crossed over, they came to land at Gennesaret and moored the boat. When he got out of the boat, people once at once recognized him and rushed about that whole region and began to bring the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. And wherever he went, into villages or cities or farms, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might even that might touch even the fringe of his cloak, and all who touched it were healed. Now, there's two familiar and remarkable stories that are told in the verses that are omitted. Um, the feeding of the 5,000 and Jesus walking on water. And this seems a little odd to me, but I think the intentional jump allows us to emphasize on the gathering of the people of God. First, the disciples gather around Jesus, reporting what they had accomplished when they were sent out in their mission by Jesus. When they return, Jesus, recognizing their exhaustion, gathers them to retreat to a deserted place to rest. Gathering is very important. Sharing is very important. Whether it be reporting or resting. The great crowds who follow and gather to hear Jesus illustrates what is important to do when gathered. Show compassion to those who seem to have lost their shepherd and teach them. Jesus exemplifies when to rest and when to seize the moment and return to the crowds. Just so, we are taught along with the disciples and the crowds. Let us pray. God of gathering and rest, help us to know when and where to gather. When we are tired, provide us with energy to respond to the needs that present themselves. In your precious name I pray. Amen. Gathering is important. Resting is important. Knowing to respond to God's calling is important. Have a good evening. Rest well.